Hi, Mark Murphy and I'm here in Cairo. I'm here to actually explore the destination, not from how you've been seeing it in the traditional media, but to how it actually is here on the ground. One thing we notice when we travel, and I've traveled all over the world, we've noticed differences, but we've also noticed similarities. One thing you're gonna feel as soon as you arrive in Egypt is the warmth of the people. It's genuine and they're welcoming tourists. There's no denying Egypt's beauty and history. It is some of the most popular and most distinctive in the world. What I did, and I suggest you do too, is find a trained guide to help you explore. My guide, Mustafa, was incredibly informative about the area and its people. He was integral to my trip and a genuinely nice guy. I talked to him about local traditions and he introduced me to a little bit of the Islamic culture that's not part of my daily life. He also took me to one of the area's churches. We might not think of Cairo as a religiously diverse place, but many religions, including Judaism and Christianity, are represented in the city. Mustafa showed me around town a little bit more, and we chatted about the recent political turmoil. Since I'm an independent traveler, and sometimes like to wander around on my own, I inquired about his thoughts as to the safety of Cairo. He assured me that it was perfectly fine to wander the streets, and to do so at my leisure. That's what I did as I strolled into Old Cairo. Mustafa was right. I was perfectly safe, and the people, whether I was looking to do some shopping or just running into them on the street, were incredibly friendly. As you can see, Cairo is alive and well, and in places like this market, it's actually thriving. There are markets like this all over the world, and you can buy souvenirs and all sorts of things, just like you can here in Cairo. But the one thing you can't do in those other places is get the experiences like they have in Egypt.